Pi movie review. Max Cohen is a mathematical genius and for 10 years he's been working hard to determine a numerical pattern behind the system of organized chaos of the stock market. As he draws closer to a conclusion, things get increasingly chaotic in his surroundings and his daily life. This is Darren Aronofsky's first film. As several of the others, it's a drama slash psychological thriller. And it's one of the most complicated films he's done. I'd say there's a lot to really go into and process. And I'm not going to claim that I understand everything about this film, but what I do understand is quite well thought out and you can really tell that Aronofsky really did work hard to make some sort of cohesion in this between all the different elements. The the theme of obsession is explored and the search for answers which is a pretty common theme, I'd say, for Aronofsky. It's sometimes difficult to determine what's real and what isn't, and there are a lot of unanswered questions. A lot is ambiguous and left up to the viewer, for the viewer to decide. It's filmed really well with a lot of different cinematic techniques, different camera uh, filming techniques. It's done in a stark black and white and I think this was partially budgetary and partially also uh, for effect and it really does work well, albeit there is a little portion of the film that is very difficult to quite make out what's going on because it's so dark. But it's not something where you're really wondering what exactly is going on because it's not something where what's happening is really all that complicated. The acting is quite good. Sean Gillette, I'm gonna guess that's how you pronounce the last name, is phenomenal. You haven't really seen him in much else other than the psychiatrist in Requiem for a Dream. Some have called Requiem for a Dream a bit of just another movie like this, where you know this was the first time that Aronofsky used a lot of different techniques and you know to great effect, and Requiem for a Dream was more of that. I would say the films both have something to offer overall. They are also both manipulative films, although this one is less... This one isn't really trying to tell you anything specific, I would say, other than, you know, exploring obsession. The sound design is quite well done. There are a lot of evocative sounds, and they're all very well used, and the film understands both sound and silence can be very effective. The soundtrack is fantastic. It's, I'm told, soft trance. I'm not an expert on music. And it just really works well. It has that sort of feel of mathematical genius, technology, that kind of thing. So, yeah, if it sounds at all appealing to you, definitely check it out. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.